I ripped this brand new dirt bike into a million pieces. Welcome back to building one of the cleanest 252 strokes you've ever seen. Previously you saw us get the entire dirt bike put back together, the engine rebuilt, and the brand new custom graphics installed. And today is the second to last part of the build, adding finishing touches. The previous video you saw us remove the old chain from the dirt bike, and today we're installing a new one that matches the color scheme better. Installation is as simple as running it through the chain guide, putting it over the front sprocket, and lining up on the rear sprocket. And the worst part of this is just getting the master link in there and the clip on there, but once we get that done, I'm absolutely loving the look of this X-ring chain. Next, we're going to be doing my absolute favorite part of the build so far. To start, I cut the can in half lengthwise, and then I cut off the top and the bottom so it's expanded. Then I go ahead and apply some double-sided sticky tape to the shock reservoir, remove the backing so the sticky part is exposed, and then I'm going to be wrapping this beer can around it so it looks like an actual Coors can. Oh, excuse me. Coors Banquet. None of that Coors like garbage. And then I have to go ahead and reinstall the back part of the plastics here because I had to remove it to access the reservoir. And like I said, guys, favorite part of the build so far, this looks awesome. Lastly, I want to switch out the skid plate for a brand new one, so I go ahead and get the bike off the stand and install it. And special thank you to Liquid Molly for sponsoring this build with their incredible product. Make sure you follow me to see the last part of the 250 build.